Hi, my name's Bob Lindy. I'm an herbalist and an herb grower. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to grow sedum in a shallow container. And actually, sedum is a lot of fun to grow. It's very easy for kids and adults. You can constantly rearrange them in a variety of different patterns, and there's an endless supply of different sedums or different succulents that you can use for your shallow dish. They do well inside or outside. So we can go ahead and hit our local garden supply store or your friends and neighbors and get a few cuttings because they do very, very well from cuttings. And look at what we want to create. So one of my favorite ways to work with sedums and all the other succulents is actually to combine some of the fake plants along with some live ones. Because they're so easy to take care of and need very little care, we can do it with very little soil in a shallow dish. So in this case, I've actually used kind of a fake pond plant, and I'm going to add the succulents in so that they can grow up around it. And I can regularly transplant it into different dishes or larger dishes or just expand my collection into the endless varieties of sedums. We can go ahead and either buy a special uh, soil mix that's specific to succulent plants, or if we want to go ahead and create our own, I usually take just a good rich potting soil, but I want to increase the drainage a little bit. So I add a little bit more vermiculite and usually a little bit extra peat moss to it and mix it up so that it just holds the water but also drains and we don't have any standing water. So once we do that, we can go ahead and get our potting soil, mix in a little bit of extra drainage for it, place that just ever so shallowly in the dish that we're going to use, and then go ahead and arrange our different sedums and our different succulents in the plant, knowing that they do grow at a fairly decent rate oftentimes, although it always depends on the type of plant you're working with. And remember, the sedums and all your succulents are oftentimes very delicate plants, so it's very, very common for a few leaves to break off. Don't worry about it. Actually, you can take most of those leaves and try to actually sprout those, and your plant won't be any worse for wear. But take your time. No plant likes to be stressed. Once we go ahead and get our sedums planted into the shallow dish the way we want, we can just water it in lightly. And we need to go ahead and make sure that we're watering that plant as the soil gets dry. We don't want that soil to be overly wet. The sedums and all of the succulents don't want particularly wet feet. So go ahead and either mist on a weekly basis or a little bit of water. Most of the time, if you started with good soil, you really don't even need to fertilize, maybe once a year, but honestly, you probably don't need to. Once a year, you may need to go ahead and transplant some of the, pl the plants out or go to a larger, a larger dish. So you'll be replenishing the soil. So this is Bob Lindy talking to you about how to plant a sedum in a shallow dish.